at Mighty Peace Brewing Co. So let's go check it out. Hey everyone and welcome back. We're here today at Mighty Peace Brewing with the manager Taryn. Hi, I'm happy to have you guys. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be here. Um, we will just start with you telling us a bit about yourself. I am born and raised here and I've been working at Mighty Peace off and on for six years now. And what got you involved at Mighty Peace? Um, actually, I know the owners personally, so that's originally what got me here. And how have you liked it? Uh, I love it. I love serving, so I love the social acts aspect of it. So, yeah, I enjoy it a lot. It's good to uh, get out and talk to the community, and this is the best possible way to do it. Yeah. How long has Mighty Peace been in business? We just had our sixth birthday last week. Um, we opened in 2018, so yeah, been around for a couple years now. Do you know much about the startup of the company, like what that looked like or what the inspiration was to opening? Originally, one of the owners, it's a partnership um, with two couples, and originally the owner just liked visiting breweries down in um, southern BC, so the inspiration kind of came from there. They enjoyed beer, they wanted something like that up here because we don't have anything like this far um, past Prince George, so we wanted to make our own thing here. And what do you brew here? The types of beer we brew here, we have a golden ale, a lager, an IPA, um, which is an Indian pale ale. We have an ISA, which is an Indian session ale. Um, and that's our mainstays, so that's kind of the genre we stay in. And then our seasonals get kind of fancy with some sours and some fruity beers. So, yeah, a little bit of everything here. Are you a beer drinker yourself? Um, Small, in a small amount, um, more the fruity beers if I go for anything like that, yeah. Do you have a favorite beer? Um, I would say the Slurry Peach, it just has that fruity aspect where it doesn't taste like you're just drinking normal beer, it has a little fun twist to it, so yeah, that one. And do you know where the name Mighty Peace Brewing came from? Um, it was kind of locally inspired, just to think about like the farmers, um, how we're mighty up here, and... Uh, we are the Peace Region, so part of that name came from um, just kind of that aspect. You were saying you were born and raised here. What was yes. that like growing up in Port St. John? Uh, it was great. It's a, it's a small town, but there's a lot of support in the community, and I think that's part of the reason we run so smoothly is, um, yeah, just the general support of people coming in from the community and um, being a part of how we grow. We chatted a bit about the beer, but you also have a tap room, correct? Yes. Yeah, what is your tap room vibe? Like, what does that look um, like? So, a little bit in the video, you can kind of see we have this rustic um, background to us, and that's kind of how our whole brewery is laid out. Um, it's just chill, um, warm kind of vibes. Yeah. And the menu? Um, the menu, we actually just recently updated it as of June 1st, and just kind of more shareables. Our aspect originally at the start wasn't to have a menu. We were just a taste room and we quickly learned that people would love to stay longer and drink our beer if we had food. So um, we just kind of have shareables uh, and little appies. So things like tacos and nachos and wings. We get compliments on our wings all the time. They are so good and we do have like 10 plus flavors. So yeah, definitely come in from some, for some wings if you're ever around. And uh, what else is on there? We have mozza sticks. Who knew people love deep fried cheese so much? <laughs> um, that's been popular since we brought it on. Oh my gosh, I love that. My sister loves mozza sticks. Oh, so. they're, they're a fan favorite right now. And two, what I like about our menu is those small things are homemade. So we have lots of dips on our menu that we all make in-house. And then um, our specials, we like to try to keep homemade as well. So yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah. Those little aspects help a lot. Yeah. You know, people come for the beer and then they stay for that homemade food, yeah. you know, bringing people together. Exactly. Yeah. What would you say is the most popular beer? Um, so all our mainstays were brewed as soon as we were opened. That was our first dedicated list. But for some reason, Peace Gold has been kind of the known fan favorite. And so it's the one we serve at or sell to, I guess, most of the restaurants in town, and that's the one we usually suggest to people um, to drink when they first come in. Mm -hmm. And do is there like a 
food. Oh, you said the matzo sticks are like yeah. the food favorite right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming for a gold. Sorry, what did you call Peace it? Peace gold. Peace gold. And some yeah. matzo sticks. The yeah, perfect exactly. pairing. Can you speak a bit about the inspiration behind the artwork on the cans? Yeah, so the inspiration with our cans was, again, to keep it local kind of thing. So they're all pictures that were taken in northern BC. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then the colors kind of come off of the vibe of the beer, I guess. So for example, like our Peace Gold can has a golden inspired color. So they kind of all have this color attached to them. Slurry Peach cans have um, a peachy, orangey vibe. So they each have a color, yeah, attached to them. I don't know how it happened. It happened naturally. Oh, really? So yeah. Oh, wow. And you said all the photos were taken in Northern BC. Yes. Do you know the photographers that took them? Or was um, it, how did the pictures get chosen, I guess? I don't actually know that. I know that some of them have been um, past staff that just like have a picture on their phone and that um, they just send it to us and we print it on, their, on the can. So, oh my yeah. gosh, that's so fun. What would you say is the most rewarding part of your job? Um, I think to see this place blossom and see people in here um, when it's not busy I take it personal because I'm like how can we bring people in so it's super rewarding when I see the place full it feels like we're doing a good job as a as a brew house and aside from the tap room that you have do you do events or anything else um, we do we do events within the community so um, for example, like next week's Beer Mile, or we have a taste of Fort St. John that happens locally that we are a part of. Um, there's a peace country music festival that we just started throwing here, and we've been part, uh, part of it, serving our beer. Um, we also throw events personally here, like music, or um, we have trivia nights. Um, we do throw like Christmas parties and stuff as well. Um, birthday parties, any any event somebody wants to hold here, we're more than happy to have them here. How would someone go about booking an event? Just call in. Um, me or one of the servers that answers the phone will get you details um, and we can create an event catered to you. Sometimes we will shut down the whole tap room if that is what you would like or sometimes we reserve half the tap room. It just depends and we cater yeah, to you. Cool. And what can folks expect? when booking an event? Um, depends. Uh, you can book it out privately and you can kind of um, build your own event in a way. So you can just eat off our menu or we can do a buffet style for you. Um, you I have an event, for example, coming up that they wanted to have their own personal music here. So they're bringing in music. Or I have another event that wanted to throw their own trivia. So they're doing that. So it's we're here to work with you to make your event the best it can be. So yeah, you can you can expect everything almost under the sun. But so very adaptive then and oh, yeah, flexible for to sure. what people yeah. want. Yeah, exactly. That's wonderful. If you could take Mighty Peace Brewing anywhere in the world, where would you take it? Oh gosh. Um, I'm, I would say I would just take it um, around Canada because right now our biggest challenge is a small brewery is trying to get it out to BC or Alberta we're we're a little bit um, stuck in this area so I would just want to be able to bring it more to Canada and so folks who want to buy your beer it's available here in Fort St. John correct? yes at yeah. obviously the brewing house itself but yes. also some restaurants you were saying as well um, yeah we have it in a couple restaurants throughout town and we have it in a handful of the liquor stores so yeah you can come in and also um, on top of can sales we do do keg sales so if you have a wedding and you would like a keg so fun yes come in and um, you can have a whole keg of beer and not just hands <laughs> oh my gosh that's awesome <laughs> how have you watched Mighty Peace blossom in the six years that you've been working here how I've seen us grow is just kind of as a family. We do have a, a strong base of who we have as staff that have been around for a while. And um, even though I manage, that's just a title that is slapped on because everybody works together here to um, create ideas and feed off each other to make this place better. That's so sweet. 
If you could say something about Mighty Peace to people maybe who don't know much about it, what would you say? We have a very homey vibe and um, willing to have great conversations with anybody that comes in. What would you say is the best piece of advice you've received throughout your life? Um, a quote I once seen across uh, my mom's walls everywhere that some may know is just live, laugh, love. <laughs> Perfect. We just finished up at Mighty Peace Brewing Co. Look, Look at, at that! The, are. Oh my Super God. Cute. the beer is really good. I had a raspberry um, sour. It's really yummy. Um, got to talk to the brewers, which were super fun. And the manager, she was yes, so sweet. So sweet. Um, they have really good beer. Like, check it out. <laughs> I didn't try the beer, but I learned a lot about beer. Me too. And I learned how much chemistry goes into it. Didn't know that it was so scientific. Technical. I should have guessed that it mm -hmm. would be scientific, but anyhow. It was very knowledgeable. Like very knowledgeable. Learned a lot. Super fun. The place was popping, so yeah, definitely check it out. Something.